to the girl who used to see Her days are over Baby, she's over Go to sleep, cause she ain't never seen a chick hot like me. I am on the pedestal, you are underneath. Try and shake my balance off, I just didn't cream. I am so fly, best friends with the sky. Your man wants to try the mile high. If I let him. Can a bulldog bite and attack a roadside? Can UGA's David knock out Alabama's Goliath? UGA and Alabama's on a collision course for the SEC championship. Let's go in and place your bets. Who wins, BJ? Uh, I'm going to go with Alabama, but it's not so fast. It's not as close as you think it's going to be. Oh, wow. What would you say the score is then? I'm, I'll probably take Alabama. Maybe I'm going to go with 24 to 21. I think it might even go to overtime, and they might even win do something in overtime because uh, you know Alabama's vulnerable. Georgia is on its way up. That was a huge win against Florida. I'd like to see Alabama get past A&M first before I even give them the blowout credit. Man, I, I like George in the game, man, and basically off of one guy, man, Jarvis Jones. Ooh. I mean, I think he could wreck the whole offensive game plan for Alabama. I mean, you stopped the run with Yeldon and Lacey. You let McCarron throw. Yeah, he kind of did his thing against LSU, but you got Bakari Rambo and some of those other corners right. Georgia got. I like George in the game. Now, if Aaron Murray can play like he know how to play and get his head out of you know where, then I think Georgia could really handle the game, but... I'm still rolling with George in that game, What's man. What's the score then? Uh, well, it, it have to be a close one. They ain't going to stomp. <laughs> yeah. I, I say, I say, twenty-one seventeen. All right, JD. Um, right now, I got to lean towards Alabama, but I don't think it's just. I just don't think it's a gimme. Uh, if the Georgia that shows up with the big defense, the big offense to Georgia, I think that team has a chance to beat Alabama in like a twenty-four twenty-three game. Oof. But the problem is, every now and then you see Georgia doing rolling so well. All of a sudden, they have that drop game. And if that happens, it's going to be one of those 17, 35, 45 games. I hear that. Okay. All right, well, then I'm going with Georgia, which is a complete 180 of how I feel about Georgia and Georgia sports in general. But I'm going to go with Georgia. And uh, J.D. came in today, which made this topic with a great stat. Mark Rick is 1-1 one one versus Nick Saban. 2-0 and oh in Tuscaloosa. Yes, sir. So Mark Rick's been there before and has won big games when he wasn't supposed to there. Yeah, the Georgia don't know. Oh, yeah, women SEC champion. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I think Mark Britt may have a formula to play Saban competitively or at least even to beat him. We're going to see because this will break the tie between them with the one-on-one -on -one record. Uh, I'm going with Georgia for the main reason, like I said. I think in the LSU game, I think we saw something out of McLaren that we hadn't seen all year, indecisiveness. Good secondaries eat up indecisive quarterbacks like no other. And like you mentioned about the Rambo thing, I think if he gets indecisive in that Georgia game, we can see a 3-4 pick game for McLaren that easily. Because those guys in that secondary play ball in Georgia. You can say what you want to say about the front, who shows up, who doesn't. They, they can't play ball in that secondary. Uh, Reese, I know Reese about to go in. Really, guys? Like, <laughs> come on. Dude. I said I was All right. Cool. I think y'all basing this hype because they beat Florida. And Florida did not play good at all that game, honestly. Right. And they – I mean, uh, Georgia still struggled to win that game even with – Four turnovers, four or five turnovers. Right. Yeah, I remember that, right? Yeah, yeah. So they couldn't even like really put up points. So you think they're gonna go and play Alabama the same way and defeat them? I mean, let's come on, let's be more realistic. I mean, they they was once considered soft, right? <laughs> and this a couple weeks ago, we was talking about how Alabama the number one team and another team, maybe Notre Dame mm -hmm. or be number two Oregon. and this and that. We was just all, a few weeks ago we was yeah. talking about that. Now all of a sudden we were like, oh, we can we they Georgia. Georgia can take them. <laughs> like, we didn't even mention Georgia. But since they beat Florida, it's like, oh, I think Georgia can take them. They only lost to South Carolina. I mean. And, and the South Carolina jumped on, them, jumped on them at home. Yeah, and that was when they I mean, And even watch the rest of that game, after that 21-point lead, South Carolina didn't do anything for the rest of that game. Yeah. But first of all, Florida has, like, no, really no great offense. They, right. they have a good defense, but they don't have no great offense. So, but nobody, but yeah, they did. That's true. And, 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 By Florida, Northern Alabama. And the SEC. All the offenses aren't great. Even Alabama, once you want to roll, who's Alabama played except for LSU? Let's keep it 100%. Well, they've, they've played some good folks now. Let's Ooh, Alabama? Michigan? Give me one. Uh, Michigan. Michigan's Michigan good? Michigan? <laughs> what if Michigan good? Because I'm a Big Ten bad, guy. That's my check. 
Look at the right week. Nobody, nobody. The Ole Miss hasn't played anybody. That's Alabama, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They just beat you. No, I'm saying. <laughs> like, like I was touting these guys. Who, again, who is Alabama playing some LSU that we that warrants a top five spot or top ten spot in, in the in the BCS? If y'all want a Denny Green, Alabama, go ahead. But the, but the eyeballs tell me that Georgia got a chance in this football game from a talent perspective on yeah. their defensive side of the ball. If Aaron Murray don't turn the rock over and there's no turnovers and they head up, Georgia got a chance to and beat Alabama. Be a, and listen to me, Georgia's going to be playing at home. It's going to be in the Georgia Dome. You think you think the Jokers from Athens ain't going to get down to the Georgia Dome? What is that, an hour and a half away? I mean, come on, I man. How can y'all crown a team that has players calling out other players <laughs> on their team as if they're soft or not? Oh, and we need to go with better, somebody better, 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 better. ain't doing that. <laughs> we're not crowning Georgia. Well, ain't we nobody crowning Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're well, not saying we're not crowning well, right Georgia. Well, right now they rank number five. So yeah. if they beat Alabama, what will they be ranked? They'll probably rank number no, two four. or three. Yeah, they okay. They'll be number four. Yeah, they're going to take it. Yeah, they're going to take it. Yeah, and neither one of these teams, Georgia or Alabama, has really played anybody that's really any good. Yeah, I mean, except for LSU and, and South <laughs> Carolina. And Georgia beat LSU, lost to South Carolina, and Alabama didn't play South Carolina. So Alabama's played. I mean, Alabama's Michigan, Western Kentucky, Arkansas, Florida Atlantic, Old Miss, Missouri, Tennessee, Mississippi State. Y'all sleep. Y'all y'all oh, sleeping oh. on Nick Saban, and y'all forgetting about the coach for the Georgia Bulldogs. Oh, you know what I'm I mean, we, we <laughs> talk, I mean, yeah, I, I admit Mark Rick went from being the office coordinator in Florida with the old bowl coach and slinging around the yard to going to Georgia being conservative. All I'm saying is that a conservative game plan against Nick Saban usually yields good results. LSU, why do they say with Nick Saban uh, very well? They run a conservative game plan. And they do one trick play, one game, and that's usually what they pull it out on. Does that look like Georgia's MO? Georgia runs conservative and plays conservative all game, and maybe throws out a trick play once in a while. That's Georgia's MO. So I'm thinking that's why Mark Rick is 1-1 against Nick Saban. He's 3-1 and one versus Alabama overall. So he plays Alabama very well. And I'm saying that Mark, uh, Nick Saban... His defenses live off what? Turnovers. Bend but don't break in turnovers. If you get into that game like Ray said, and you don't turn that ball over, you, got you can expose you got Alabama. And let's be real, Alabama's talent is nowhere where it used to be last year. I think we're living high off that 21-0 stomp in the national championship remember last year. They lost a lot of guys on that team. It's a reason why Nick Saban lined these teams up to be chumps this year. You think Nick Saban is not that smart to realize what he has coming in and coming out? To know that, oh, I need to build up that confidence, make us look like Tyson, until so somebody punches us in the mouth. I'm saying if they both get past the both their opponents this week, it's a great chance Georgia can punch them in the mouth. That's what we look at. We look at a Buster Douglas situation I, right here. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I, 35, 35, 14. 35, 14. You're expecting a lot of turnovers there from Georgia. I mean, That's the only way I see it being a blowout. I, I don't see their defense doing that, that, that great, honestly. I don't see them like stopping... Uh, Alabama. I, I don't. I don't. Alabama. I mean, I see some NFL players on that Georgia defense, man. Yeah. I mean, you got yeah. yeah. to at least three. At least three. In the last year, we were looking at Georgia as a team that could fight for the uh, the, the championship you know, because of the talent they had on it. They lost some people because of suspension and being dismissed from the school. But a lot of that talent hasn't completely jumped off the cliff. Like, yeah, they still I, had it. Yeah, I get that, but I still think y'all somewhat basing. Uh, Alabama's performance against LSU, how they struggled, and Georgia's win against Florida. But well, that's and, just the best team they played. So far. LSU, yeah. LSU beat, uh, lost to Florida, and then and like you said, Alabama struggled against. LSU. I mean, but like you said earlier, matchups. Yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I, I agree with you on the whole. You know, uh, you know, you never know. They might hit him in the mouth, but I mean, I think Alabama too strong. Let's, LSU let's, lost let's, to Florida as Ray South said, Carolina. let's did his green them. <laughs> you better to crown them. That's Dennis Green. Let's make sure that Alabama can get past AM first. I mean, yeah, oh, let's talk about that for a second. I mean, because BJ is on this. Well, uh, that's a trap game. It's waiting to happen. You come off a big emotional win against LSU where you, like Ray said, get exposed. Uh, Mississippi State got, I mean, uh, AM got Johnny Mansell, who is like one of the best quarterbacks, possibly Heisman candidate if it wasn't for a Ooh. couple of the guys in front of him. As a Ooh. freshman? As a freshman, he's up there. He's got uh, uh, they have the number one offense in the SEC. They've scored forty four points a game. They have, they score the most offensive yards. They have over five hundred yards passing a game or total a game. 
And Alabama, you know, Alabama coming off that big emotion win, looking ahead to Georgia, looking ahead to the SEC. It's got trap game written all over it. If Alabama doesn't play a good game, they will lose. I, I will admit Damn. that that game bought into it. Nick Saban is going to have his. I, I think he's going to have his guys fired up. Nick Saban Nick, isn't Bob Stoops. Yeah, he's about he to go. have a big game. But also, too, I know Nick Saban's going in and saying, "Hey, look here, guys. We punched him in the mouth in the first quarter. This They're game's done. over." Yeah. And I think if you come on, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to call and see that game and see Alabama flying around, knocking heads off. And I guarantee you, I won't watch it past halftime. So, but but like you said, if they come off flat, they come off like, hey, well, we kind of down because we didn't play our best. Uh, like I said, you, they do have a great coach out there in AM. I mean, yeah. It, yeah, it is the makings of a trap game, but I think we don't look at trap games when we talk about Saban in the college ranks because we always feel like Saban always has his guys prepared to play. And I think that's why I don't look at it as much. I actually look at that Ooh. Auburn game versus Georgia. I know Auburn's terrible. But Mark Rick's history, he drops games like this. You look at his history going on, going on, he usually will drop a game where you're like, what? You know, like, yeah, they lost to the same. They beat Auburn 63 to 21 two weeks ago. <laughs> Again, but I'm just saying, yeah, like, Auburn's horrible this year. Auburn don't got no talent. It's terrible. I, I, so I get that. It's not but so much of a trap game for Georgia. I'm Auburn. saying it's a trap because that's the team you usually lose to, the team that you're like, oh man, these jokers ain't got nothing to do. We're going to go out there and blow these cats out. And they put that one last good old effort in you, and you realize you may not be as good as you are. And we know Mark Rick will be conservative as hell. We know that your team going to be sitting there like, okay, these guys are still in the game with us. And we know about bad teams. You let them hang around long enough, hey, take one missed snap. The A&M is not a bad team. Man. I'm looking at the schedule right here. They lost to Florida and they lost to LSU, but they, they've beaten everybody else. They've only got two losses. They beat Mississippi State and they beat Louisiana Tech, Ole Miss, uh, Arth- you know, uh, uh, South, uh, Arkansas. I mean, None of those are great teams. They don't really have. Yeah, but you, great you, teams it's to go the thing them. you always say about the SEC is the SEC is always top heavy. Yeah, it and, being, is. and being top heavy, what did they lose to? They lost to Florida. They lost to LSC. Well, they're about to lose to the biggest top heavy team. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They lost to Florida by three, and they lost to LSU no, by but, five. Well, that's, that's just it's not part. like they got blown out. These guys, mm-hmm. they have the 27th. Best defense in all of football, not just the SAT. They're the fourth overall ranking in all of college football for points against them. I mean, they're, they're not a pushover team. Oh, no, we're not, not saying, saying they're pushover. Just saying they, they got a chance. Their P's and it's P's like playing a lottery. You got a chance. Yeah, they got a, a good chance. <laughs> I just don't. Again, I, I'm just going on the strength. I'm not I, I, I'm with you 100%. I just think Saban prepares his teams better than any college coach in the, in the country. Prepares his team for, for games, especially sure. games like this. Because games like this is when Saban puts 60 on people. <laughs> like, let's be real. These are the games where you be like, damn, unless you beat them by what? Because Saban knew. What we talk about right now, Saban's like, oh, yeah, nah, we're going to go in here. We're going to stomp these guys out. I mean, I remember, it was it two years ago, they played Penn State up in Beaver Stadium. And everybody's like, oh, that may be a trap for them. Because Beaver Stadium, tough play, blah, blah, blah. Man, they put, to the point, he, he called the dogs off because he respected Joe part of the time. Because he was beating yeah. us so badly, we thought we were going to lip off the field. So these are one of these games I look at with Saban and go, oh, he gonna he gonna put the six he gonna put a sixty nut on these guys, put them second stringers in it so they can get some work, and then put them going home and let's go into this SEC championship. Uh, so I mean, uh, so I think you're right about that, Saban. This might not be the year that he can do. He hasn't put up sixty on anybody. He only put up fifty on Arkansas. Oof. He's been playing some three. I, I mean, Arkansas has been bad pretty bad this year. Yeah, that's true. Real bad, and he put up. You know, they didn't score any points. He still only put up fifty. Was it I Arkansas know. lost to Louisiana Tech? My, yeah, one of my new favorite. One <laughs> of my new favorite teams. So uh, BJ McCoy, what are we? What are you going to uh, Alabama? So I'm, I'm going Alabama, but barely, and only if they beat Texas A&M this week. Okay, and I would reserve the right to change that if they get the butts kicked. Okay, uh, Ray Georgia. Uh, yes. JD, I give it to Alabama. But I'll be rooting for Georgia. We already know Reese because Reese think we talking crazy in here. He can't. He, he got off the mic. He ain't want to talk no more about Reece it. Reese thinks that a college team could beat an NFL. Yeah, team. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was-